Chris Stops Porzingis and Drew Holiday were the two trades Boston needed to put themselves back on the map as one of the NBA elites going for that 18th title. So as this video is being edited with the series lead 3-1, Dallas looks like they're on for a fight for their life. No team in history has come back from being down 0-3, and I seriously doubt that history will be made. And in classic dramatic fashion, Porzingis went from I'll die out there if we need to, I hope not, but if it comes to that to win, I guess, Ah, the sweet symphony of sports cliches. But hey, can you blame him? This was the NBA Finals, not a friendly game of horse in the backyard. And let's not forget the love fest happening between Porzingis and his teammates. Jason Tatum is singing his praises louder than a karaoke night gone wild. But let's face it, when you've got a 7'4 unicorn on your squad, you're basically playing with cheat codes. As for Porzingis' Dallas return, didn't happen in Game 3, but Boston proved they could still win without him. But let's not forget the power and the significance that Porzingis has brought throughout the year at Boston. Let's break it down and see how good he is. On office, Porzingis was the kind of guy who can turn a routine play into a highlight reel. As a rim-running big, he's a master of finishing alley-oops and throwing down some seriously athletic dunks. Picture him flying through the air like a 7'2 superhero, the cape optional. And when he's not airborne, his back-to-the-basket game is pretty stellar too. Over the years, he's packed on muscle, turning his post moves into a potent weapon. Oh, but wait, there's more. Porzingis is also a legitimate threat from downtown. With a career three-point shooting average of 36.1% on 5.1 attempts per game, defenders can't afford to leave him open on the perimeter. It's like guarding a transformer. Just when you think you've got him figured out, he shifts into a long-range sniper and drains a three. Now, let's talk defense. With his towering frame and a wingspan that stretches to seven foot six, Porzingis is basically a human wall, making life miserable for anyone daring enough to drive into the paint. Opposing players probably feel like they're trying to score on a giant redwood tree that can swat their shots into the stands. In short, Porzingis' return was a game changer for Boston. His presence on both ends of the floor solidifies the Celtics as one of the most well-rounded teams in the league for the past season. No one on the Boston Celtics roster was likely more thrilled about the return of Kristaps Porzingis than their savvy point guard, Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday is one of the best defenders in the NBA. He has led the charge with Jalen Brown to hold Dallas well below their scoring averages in every game in the finals so far. He came alive in Game 2 offensively, with 26 points and 11 rebounds. Anyway, this guy knows a thing or two about winning. In 2021, he was the NBA champion with the Milwaukee Bucks. After all, like Porzingis, Holiday joined the Celtics in the 2023 offseason. Holiday coming from the Milwaukee Bucks as a part of the Damian Lillard trade and Porzingis arriving from the Washington Wizards. Holiday's basketball IQ is off the charts, and he's widely regarded as one of the best defensive players in the league. He understands that having a full, healthy roster is crucial for winning it all, and Porzingis' return was the final piece Celtics championship puzzle to push them in those first two games. To give you an idea of how impactful Porzingis has been for Boston, here's the 2023-2024 regular season stats. He averaged 20.1 points per game and 7.2 rebounds per game, showcasing his ability to score and dominate the boards. His true shooting percentage was an impressive 64.7%, indicating his efficiency as a scorer. Additionally, Porzingis had a plus-minus of 5.1, reflecting his positive impact on the team's performance when he was on the court. Defensively, he contributed 1.9 blocks per game, underscoring his role as a formidable shot blocker. For Holiday, having Porzingis meant he could run the pick and roll with a big man who could finish at the rim or step out to hit a three. It also meant having a defensive anchor behind him, allowing Holiday to apply even more pressure on opposing guards without worrying as much about getting burned in the paint. Porzingis' return meant a lot for the Celtics team that had performed very well without him, but his performance in Game 2 was surreal, and Drew Holiday knows that. He says, I have an angel on my shoulders talking about his mom, who is his superhero. She Porzingis, get a little extra on it. Meanwhile, he's guarded by Kyrie Irving, shoots over, scores! Porzingis... Especially in the NBA Finals, you can never have too much help. As one of the smartest players in the world, Holiday recognizes just how much his center impacts the game on both ends of the floor, and how he could bring them closer to achieving their end goal of holding up the Larry O'Brien Trophy by the end of the series. The 2-0 lead was a mental setback for the Dallas Mavericks. 
Holiday's excitement isn't just about having another big man on the roster. No, it's about the strategic advantage that Porzingis provides. With his ability to score from inside and out, Porzingis forces his defenses to stretch thin, creating even more opportunities for everyone else on the floor. His presence in the paint as a rim protector also gives the perimeter defenders, including Holiday, the confidence to be more aggressive, knowing they have a reliable shot blocker behind them. And if we go a bit back in time and imagine Brad Stevens and his merry band of basketball masterminds sitting around a table after Boston's heartbreaking loss to Miami in the Eastern Conference Finals, the room is tense, the mood somber, and the question on everyone's mind is so thick you could cut it with a knife, how much of a shakeup does this team need? I imagine Stevens leaning back in his chair, maybe twirling a pin between his fingers like some kind of basketball wizard contemplating the fate of the Celtics. Do we go big or go home? He probably muttered dramatically while the rest of the front office held their breath waiting for the big decision. And boy, did they decide to swing for the fences. They traded longtime point guard Marcus Smart as part of a deal that landed them none other than the seven foot two tall unicorn himself, Kristaps Porzingis. Imagine the excitement in the room when they, when they realize they're about to add a skyscraper with handles to their roster. But wait, there's more. Just when you thought they were done, they saw an opportunity and pounced like a hungry tiger on a wounded antelope. Milwaukee throws Drew Holiday into the mix, trading him to Portland for Damian Lillard. And the Celtics swoop in to nab Holiday faster than you can say trade deadline frenzy. Out go former NBA Sixth Man of the Year Malcolm Brogdon and big man Robert Williams III. And in comes Holiday, like the cherry on top of a championship Sunday. And you know what? These bold moves paid off big time. The Celtics went on to strut their stuff with a dazzling 64 win regular season, danced through the first three rounds of the playoffs like they owned the place, and got up 3 0 over the Dallas Mavericks in the NBA Finals, which no team in history has been able to come back from. So, yeah, Brad Stevens and the gang, they're probably feeling pretty good about themselves right about now. Who knew shaking things up could be so much fun and so darn effective? The Boston Celtics have been tearing it up on the road 2024 NBA Finals, and they've been doing it with a big man, too. In Game 1 of the NBA Finals, he stepped onto the court like a colossus, dropping 20 points, snagging six rebounds, and sending shots into oblivion with three majestic blocks, all in just 21 minutes. Backboard, Tatum, the Peyton Pritchard who just checked in. Porzingis way outside. No! Porzingis knocks down his first, and that is a shooter. That's got to feel good to see the ball go in. Right to live. Offensive rebounds can help you create a margin. Porzingis pops it in. It's like he was playing NBA 2K on easy mode while the rest of us struggle to hit a layup in real life. But wait, there's more. Game two rolled around him, and Porzingis decided to grace us with his basketball with wizardry once again. This time, he dialed it down a notch. Only a notch, mind you, with 12 points, four rebounds, and assists. Hello, Mr. Playmaker, and two more of those not-in-my-house blocks, all in 23 minutes. Because apparently he likes to keep us guessing, keeping the suspense alive until the very last buzzer. The return of Porzingis couldn't have come at a better time. With his towering presence and versatile skill set, Porzingis added a dynamic dimension to an already formidable Celtics lineup. Pair that with the savvy leadership of Drew Holiday, and these two are the cornerstone to bolster the championship run of the Boston Celtics. Thank you for watching.